everybody welcome back to the channel she's french and if you're new welcome welcome back to another day in paris and the vibe for today is self-care really quickly i couldn't help myself but show you guys some of my stationery that i keep on my desk after i refilled my supplements so i was like oh i just want to give them a little peek let me know would you be interested in a desk tour i love interior design and i'd love to film that for you so let me know if you'd be interested you guys welcome to one of my favorite stores in paris i was so nervous to film in there i asked if i could and they said okay <laughs> the music was really loud so i'm giving you guys a little voiceover but oh my gosh this store is so amazing it's such a treat i have been waiting for this to open it's brand new to paris it's about maybe two or three months old i used to walk by it all the time and i was counting down the days until they would open because i could tell it was going to be amazing and sure enough it was this store has the most amazing range of k beauty they have everything you can think of they have all the popular products that go viral on tiktok they had the snail mucin they have like products that are really hard to find that you'll see go viral but they're hard to get a hold of they just have it all i've been having so much fun experimenting trying new products new brands every time i go in there i try something new i'm having so much fun doing that so i figured i would take you with me as i grabbed a couple more bits this store is such a dream come true i'm a major skincare girl i just love it and I'm such a sucker for fun packaging too. So this for me, it could not be any better. Like how amazing you guys, I can't even describe how cool this store is. So I had to take you with me. Here are some of the bits that I grabbed, but we'll do a haul when I get home. And we're also gonna go through my empties that I've been saving for you guys. I've been saving them for eight months. I've tried some really cool products and I can't wait to talk about them with you guys. What'd you get? What is it? Amaretta? Amaretta. With the um with yogurt. With yogurt like almost like froyo. Yeah, like yogurt, gelato, and then amarena, which is cherry, I guess. It's tiramisu macaroon, and, and they tiramisu. have the gelato inside the macaroon. Mm -mm. <laughs> this store looks so cute. I walk past it all the time. And finally, we're going in. So lucky I met you and I still can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have felt from the sky and I feel and while i have you guys here in this beautiful store i wanted to take a second to ask something of you if you're enjoying my content and you're not subscribed yet i would love it if you would consider subscribing i'm so close to hitting 2k which is a huge milestone that i would love to hit so yeah if you guys are enjoying my videos, it would help me out so much if you would consider subscribing. Every like, every comment that you leave helps my channel so much. And I just love our little community here and I would love for it to keep on growing. So yeah, if you're not yet subscribed, you know where the button is and I would love to have you join my community.
Okay guys, it's haul time and I'm so excited. So first things first, this is a serum by the brand Santella. I've tried a couple of their products and I'm just obsessed. So I really wanted to try more of the range. Next, I grabbed this retinol. I've seen this online and I was also running out of my retinol. So I thought this was the perfect time to try it. And then I grabbed this sunscreen. You guys, they are so sweet and they give the most amazing samples. They gave me a sample of this and I fell in love. So I grabbed the big version, super effective sales tactic, but honestly, the product's great. Next are these. These, I couldn't help myself. Ryan and I love Agritsuko, so I just had to. I figured that this would be fun. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that one. And yep, two of them, one for me as well. And then I got this, which intrigued me. I don't do these often, but I felt like I had like some little bits to get out. So I wanted to try this. I like the three-step process. I've never done a three-step before, so I thought that could be fun. And then here are some of the samples they gave me. They gave me a sheet mask. They normally sell these, you guys. Like that is so generous of them. They're so amazing. They gave me this little calming pad, which I loved. I've tried it already <laughs> and they also gave me a little toner which wasn't enough to make up an opinion on it but I love this brand so far I'm obsessed with everything and then a little Hello Kitty sticker for good luck I don't know how to tastefully tell you guys this but I was closing my curtains and this guy completely naked was closing his curtains at the same time and our eyes met and I'm like horrified. <laughs> I am so excited for this segment. This is a box of empties that I've been saving since pretty much I arrived to France. I've been trying a bunch of new products and I have a bunch of reviews on them to give you. I'll let you know if it's something I repurchased or the reason why maybe I wouldn't. I tried some pretty like popular stuff that you might have seen people talk about and stuff so if you're thinking about them let me give you my opinions on them typically i like to find something and just stick with it i expect a lot out of my products though like i really want to feel like the wow factor and it can definitely be found in products so i kind of expect that so that is why maybe i wouldn't rebuy something so yeah let's get started it's actually really heavy Ta -da! this is my first time doing this and i love these videos because it's nice to see people be like oh i'm using this and that and that but i want to know first off how much have you used it and would you rebuy it like i want like the real opinion okay first things first we have the merit great skin serum as you can see it is empty i love this and i'm not just saying this because i've worked with merit but i really really like it i especially liked it in the evenings i do find it to be quite heavy which I think is good because I want to use something like this, like I want to feel moisturized. I personally like to use it before bed, like I would do my skincare routine and then I would put this on and then I would put my moisturizer over top and it made my skin so like dewy, plump, like moisturized. I loved it. The only reason why I haven't repurchased this is because I literally can't from France. I am hoping that Merit will come to France soon because I feel like it's like perfect for the French girl aesthetic. Like they need to be here. So hopefully soon. I know that they launched in the UK and we're kind of close by. So there it. Hello. Next, and I'm just grabbing these randomly. So this is now hair, is the Miele Miel um, Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I finished this as well. All of these are empty. I had Ryan grab this for me in the US. This is one of the products that I regretted not grabbing while I was in the US. So thankfully Ryan brought this for me. And I know that there's a ton of research that has been done on rosemary oil and that it is proven to be effective. Whether I saw the effects, I'm not sure to be completely truthful, but perhaps with hair growth, it's not something that you see right away either. So. I don't know that I have like a yes or no opinion. I have found that I can order this on iHerb, so maybe I'll try it again. I liked the oiling experience, but I honestly can't tell you guys if it's made a huge difference or not. I also take like hair supplements and a bunch of stuff like that, so 
if I do have good hair growth, I don't really know what I would attribute it to. I think it's worth a shot. It has been proven to work. Next, I'm doing all like similar <laughs> bottles right now. This is the, where is it? Am I, I don't want to butcher it. This is the Beauty of Jiseon. I believe that's the correct name. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this is the Glow Deep Serum Rice Plus Alpha R Arbutin. I'm trying to show you. It's a bit reflective. You guys know the branding. This is actually very good. The only reason why I haven't repurchased this, because I really liked it. This was what I was using during the day. And then before bed, I would do the Merit one. And I really liked having the two. Again, I wish I could grab this again, but right now I cannot, but hopefully soon. I started using this one because I like to try kind of like a whole brand or like not everything, but I always seem to run out of all my products at the same time. So I have this amazing K-Beauty store, which I believe I took you in this vlog already. And they had the whole line. I saw that it was super popular online, so I figured I would try it. When I go, I always ask them, like, what do you guys recommend? Do you like it? He recommended this one, and I really did like it. I liked how I felt. I liked everything about it. The only reason I haven't repurchased it is because now I'm trying a new brand, which is Centella. And I wanted to try their um, serum. And also, their serum is, like, three times the size of this. So... I liked it. It's worth a shot. I liked how it felt. I, I don't really have issues with my skin breaking out from products, but you know, it definitely didn't cause anything, although nothing really does for me anyway. Next is the Laneige Cream Skin Milk Oil Cleanser. <laughs> I feel silly showing them like this. This one I did not repurchase because... I didn't think it was that good. <laughs> I love Laneige. They have a lot of really great products, but this one, and I feel like I'm very particular about cleanser. I felt, I, and I was also using this to remove makeup. Now I'm using a balm, although I wouldn't use this with the balm. I need like something that really gets the residue off. I felt like this was too gentle almost. Like it, it was really nice to use. It was really pleasant. Also the packaging is beautiful, but I don't know that it did a lot cleanser wise so of course i finished it because it was still good but it's not one that i rushed to repurchase and i probably wouldn't but i am still kind of experimenting with cleansers right now next is the fresh milk body lotion this i love and this i have repurchased i try to get this when it's on sale at sephora though because what it's about 20 euros i don't go too crazy with my moisturizers but, you know, it's not the hugest bottle and the price point is a bit high, but it smells so good. Like, I love anything that smells like milky and like creamy and not too much. And I feel like it mixes with my perfume really well. So I, I like the more kind of not sweet, not overwhelming scents. This is perfect. And I think I just have a Centella obsession because I just saw that it has Centella in it. With soothing plant-based milks, Centella, rice, and linseed. I really like this. I recommend smelling it. Sometimes I feel like the fresh products are a bit like, maybe they look a bit mature. Maybe it's just the packaging, but this one is so good. I love it and it's cute. It looks like a milk bottle. I'm a sucker for design and packaging. I think it's really important the experience too. Of course the product should be better, but I appreciate good packaging too. Next up, I told you guys I was trying kind of, not the whole range, but a few of the products and there's one I'm finishing which is the face wash this is the dynasty cream basically the moisturizer this did not wow me this is what I feel like with these products I was expecting like a bit more the serum was good but I felt like this without the serum would not be okay I didn't find this moisturizing enough it's very lightweight maybe if your skin is a bit more on the oily side this would work well for you but for me, I would consider my skin combination and I don't know, I was kind of looking forward to finishing it so I could move on to something else. Next is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. And I was using this as a moisturizer. <laughs> I wasn't using it as like a special one-off. I was using this in the morning and in the evening, but this was really good. I think it's a bit expensive. I do think that you're getting a ton of moisture for it size-wise pretty good size like you can see i really cleaned this out like i really liked it 
let's see 70 mils 2.3 fluid ounces this one doesn't say how much but i'm pretty sure this is much less yeah this is pretty big so yeah i liked it if i'm ever like needing to like just Everything I'm trying is not working and I want to go back, but I do like what I'm using right now. This is a good buy. I would recommend it. Just, I don't know. I wanted to try something more exciting. Next up is the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey um, Setting Powder. I love this. You might remember when I bought this. It's been so long, which is kind of bad, but also good because I don't think it expired. I still felt like it was good to use, but I've had this for a really long time and it lasted and I love everything about it. So I literally run out and repurchased it. Now I have the black packaging because this was for Christmas. I recommend grabbing this on sale too, but if you do your makeup like me, so like maybe like what, three days out of the week, three, four days, this will last you so long. And I really, really, really like it. I have it on right now. I feel like it mattifies you because I do like the semi-matte look, but then your skin like still can like breathe and show through. I still have like a little bit of glow and stuff, you know, it's not just like a full matte. Love it. Next up are these two. They're the same thing. I had them twice. These are the Kerastase Genesis Défense Thermique. It's in French. Um, like basically heat protectant spray. I really, really like this, but my hairdresser does not like Kerastase, so that's why I stopped using it. She said she could tell the difference. So I like these a lot. Honestly, I love them. I have no flaws to give to this. It doesn't leave any residue in your hair. It doesn't make your hair feel sticky or like grippy or anything. Like it just like smooths really nicely and protects your hair. I even used it when I would do like buns. I would like spray a little bit on my hands and like smooth it with it. I literally have no bad words about this. Just my hairdresser doesn't like hair stuff, so that's why I stopped. And actually, I haven't received it yet, but I've been looking for a replacement for this. So I'm gonna try the Purology. It's like the 21 in one bottle, it's their heat protectant. I've heard really good things, so I'm hoping that it'll perform like this did. Next, I told you I was trying. I like to try the whole line because I do think that things are formulated to work well with each other. So typically I kind of like go big or go home. So this is the shampoo and conditioner of the same line. Also no bad things to say about this. I really like them. I tried to research a bit because I was like, oh, maybe I'll keep using it. But then I was like, oh, my hairdresser really doesn't like these. So maybe I just shouldn't because I still had a little bit left. So I was going to finish them. And then I was trying to figure out what to get after. Um, and this always gives me anxiety because, you know, I like to try little things here and there, but also when I find something that works, I don't like to switch it. So switching this was kind of stressing me out. They made my hair so nice. <laughs> I did really, really like this line. The Genesis line is um, to fortify your hair and avoid, sorry, I'm, I'm translating from French, and avoid hair falling out. So I had a ton of damage. So that was really something I was looking for. And I think also from stress, I was losing a lot of hair at some point and it was kind of freaking me out. So I was looking for something exactly like this. I do think that it, they worked well with the hair fall too. Or maybe it's just that things like started to kind of go back to normal in my life as well. But I had really good results and I did like them. And last but not least is the Kerastase. Elixir Ultime, Huile Originale. This is known as the gold oil, I believe. Ta -da! I feel like these are very recognizable. Kerastase works by colors, so this was the pink line. All the colors do different things. This is their, I'd say, like more classic oil. I didn't like this one, actually, and that might be shocking. I've used the purple one, and I still have a little bit of the purple left. I love the purple one. I find this one to be way too heavy for my hair. My hair is pretty thin. I have a lot of hair, but it's very thin. This made my hair so greasy. I did not like using it. This is something that I was like using, trying to finish. And like, I was excited when I was done. Like, oh, okay, I'm done. I don't need to continue with this because I didn't like it, honestly. I used it at night, especially closer to my wash days so that 
my hair would just soak it up and ideally in the morning it wouldn't be as greasy and then eventually I would just wash it all out in my next wash because it really is very heavy. If your hair can tolerate a more heavy oil, I'm sure it's very good. But for me, I did not like this one. And that completes my box. <laughs> this was actually so much fun. I love doing videos like this. I love talking about like reviews and products I've tried and so on because I feel like I'm pretty critical because I have really found things that really do wow me. So when things don't, I can tell right away that it's kind of a whatever product. But then I also do want to get the bang for my buck so I'll finish it unless like something crazy happens. But I haven't had any like allergies or like anything crazy happen with these. It was just like either I like them and I finished them and I repurchased them or I finished them and I was ready to move on to something else. But yeah, I feel like that was a pretty good selection. A few quite like hype brands that you might see a lot of people talk about. So hopefully this helped you make up your mind if you're thinking of trying any of them. I'm excited to show you what I am using that I do really like and my makeup routine, my skincare routine, um, hair products. Although that's probably gonna change because I don't love what I'm using right now. So stay tuned. But yeah, that ends my little empty segment. Hey guys, I am trying out the Pay Clear No Strip. I'm excited. This is step one. I'm assuming it is opening up my pores. I love how it's cut though. It's so comfortable. I hate putting these things on my face and then they just like slide off and then I spend like literally the whole time just like trying to reposition it. So far, so good. Also, I like that it low-key insulted me because now I feel like it's gonna really work. <laughs> I figured that I would show you guys what I'm currently using. The reason why I got the new products is because I'm running out of most of these. So I figured I would free up. I am trying to be proactive about this because the way it normally goes is that I run out and then I have to rush to restock because like, Moisturizer is the one I'm really terrible about restocking and I always wait too late and then I have to like get it the same day and then I feel dry all day and I absolutely hate it. So I'm trying to not be that person. So here's what I'm currently using. I discovered this brand at that store. I had tried Beauty of Jisun. I may pronounce it incorrectly. I apologize. And I wasn't wowed by it. So I asked what they recommended because they're the experts and they recommended this brand and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's very gentle but it has the most delicious like lavender mixed with like milky vanilla scent like it's very calming. I also love the packaging. I think it's stunning um, but I'm super happy with the products. My skin loves them. I have the clearest skin I've ever had. Then I've been using this retinol by Laneige. I really like it, but honestly, the only reason that I wanted to switch is because I saw some really good reviews about this one. I wasn't planning on grabbing this, but they happened to have it at the store, so I figured why not? Other than that, I was really happy with Laneige. Then the cream skin I also love, but I really wanted to get something from this brand, so I wanted to try this one instead. And this little sunscreen is actually a sample that they gave me. They're so sweet. They always give really nice samples and I absolutely loved it. It's literally the clearest sunscreen and it smells delicious like this and it's so nice to use. So I got the big version. I'm going to be traveling to Italy soon. So I'm going to bring this with me and then just slowly finishing off, finish it off and then switch to this one. What else? Oh. This I have a good amount left, but honestly, this is just nice to use, but I feel like these are a little bit interchangeable. I try to have a simp super simple routine, so yeah. And while we're here, I figured I would show you my face wash. I currently have this in the shower. It's all wet because I just took a shower. This is from the same store. This is very inexpensive and I really, really like it. It has like a kind of like foaming effect. It comes out like um like a regular... I don't know how to describe the consistency now. Let me show you. Like this. And then you rub it in your hands. 
and it starts to foam up and I love to use this when I really want to feel super clean. I'll show you what I'm finishing that I didn't love. It's this one. I like it, but it didn't wow me and that's why I didn't rebuy it. Like it didn't do anything offensive to me, like it didn't break me out, it didn't do anything wrong, but I don't know, I like to feel a bit more like oomph for my products. So I'm finishing this off. Ryan likes it though. Um, and then once it's done, I'm gonna continue with that one. I kind of started using the other one though because it just makes me feel so much cleaner. And to remove makeup, I've been using this. I guess I'm like on a Centella kick right now because everything seems to be Centella. But this is really great. It's definitely balmy though. So, well, it's a balm but it leaves your skin with like a little bit of a coating. So I like to switch. So I do like to use a second wash after. And this is why I say that this one didn't really wow me because at first I had this to kind of remove makeup as well. Didn't really do a great job at that. And then for removing like the residue, I felt like this wasn't very strong. Whereas this one, sorry about the revolving products. This one's very good at that. But you definitely leave the shower feeling like you need to moisturize. It's time. <laughs> da, da, da. It smells so good. I don't know where to start. I'm gonna rip it. <laughs> I was going for ASMR like Zen spa vibes, but I'm I'm giving so trauma good. right You're... now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this smells good. It smells really good. I like that. And then here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> this is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they would like this as my thumbnail. This is your sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> I don't like how it does my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Look.